Hey guys, how's everyone doing today? Doing pretty well here. Thank you for asking. I'm a little warm. Just got back from a oh about a 17 and a half or so mile bike ride. It is hot, humid, and I'm glad to be home. Uh, this video isn't bicycle related or video game or coloring any sort of anything of that nature this video has to do more with the whole internet craze controversy surrounding the Little Mermaid uh, the live action Little Mermaid uh, movie that's uh, being cast and in, in production and all that stuff um, Disney has decided to go with a black Ariel <coughs> as everyone knows uh, initially in the original Little Mermaid movie is a Caucasian red-headed female now the importance of that is and please forgive me if I have bugs and or dirt on my face I haven't even checked since I got home the uh, the main issue with that is is Ariel is a redhead um, she is and was and probably always will be uh, a role model for red-headed little girls and probably some red-headed little boys why because redheads always get made fun of and <coughs> we all know that they're always getting poked fun at some way or another and, uh, and they're always the oddball that sticks out from everyone else that's just the way it is and uh, Ariel was their princess um, that's my main concern that's my main priority my main issue I guess with the new casting of the black girl I don't know her name it's like Hallie or Haley or something I don't even know I could look it up real quick but I don't care um, and as far as the other the other characters in the movie goes I think I read where Terry Crews is gonna be King Triton which okay King Triton would not be a black man if I'm not mistaken and I could be because I am not a well-educated fella but I believe that Triton uh, is like uh, the king of the merfish or whatever and like Poseidon is the god of the ocean or something like that I can't remember but aren't these all like Greek related type gods now granted you don't have a lot of fair complected Greeks a lot of red headed Greeks but there are some um, but as far as I know you don't have any you know any black history in those gods it's uh, it's all Greek or Roman or something along those lines I have a Greek friend that I'm I'm trying to get more information from um, but yeah and then I have a list of things here that I want to bring up um, that in my opinion uh, the black community the black uh, race I don't care for the word race we're all human race but uh, they do a fair share of discriminating and racism 
and contradicting themselves and racially profiling white people and hatred towards white people and they don't even know it they don't even and they, and they don't care even if they do know it um, and keep in mind this is a touchy subject and it's only touchy because it's whites and blacks if it's anyone else in the world nobody bats an eye but whites and blacks it, it's just it's a constant uh, soft spot it's a controversial subject to even speak anything but um here's an idea what if I were making what if I were remaking these movies uh, with all white people or Asian people what if I was making these movies with people that were not black Shaft Fat Albert Blade Friday Boys in the Hood Black Panther The Cosby Show and the list goes on and on what if I were to make these shows with predominantly all white people how would that go over with the black community there would be an uproar the movies and TV shows and all that would never get made can you imagine a show uh, good times with all white people Asians can you imagine that? How would that go over? That's our show. That's our people. That's our that's our people showing uh, what we had to go through, and this is our, you know, that's what we would hear. So, how would it go over? Not real well. And then we have such things as Ebony Magazine. <clears throat> Jet Magazine we have Miss Black America we have BET and I'm sure there's countless other things out there that are uh, black oriented these things are, are for black people um, so let's also look at let's not forget how blacks are allowed to make fun of white people from the way we walk the way we dance the way we talk the way we have sex uh, our genitalia which color doesn't matter there but according to them it does our color doesn't matter for any of that but according to them it's okay to make fun of us on movies TV shows stand-up comedy all of that it's okay to make fun of us but if we as white people make fun of black people at all then uh, we're racist we're bigots we're uh, horrible disgusting people that at that point in time if you're in the show business then your career is practically over you gotta go and make your rounds and apologize to every black person on the planet on talk shows and radio shows and in magazines and online and social media and there you gotta apologize until you're practically dead that's where we are at in America you have movies like White Chick, White Chicks, where it's two black guys, the Wayne's brothers. They dress up as white girls. Faces are white, skin, rest of skin's white. The way they talk and the way they try to move and and all this different stuff and the way they act. It's making fun of white people. It's not right. It is being. Uh, contradictive to what you're trying to preach 
Um, it's a really sad state uh, in which our country is in right now. You have everything from that to the hashtag Me Too and all this movement and feminist movement and the SJW movement and the and all these different things and basically it all revolves around beating down the white man <coughs> now I don't know about you guys but I've done nothing to blacks or anyone of any color as I assume most people have not in the past hundred years I just don't get it and women this whole feministic feminism movement and they don't need men anymore and <clears throat> you know you need a man when it, when you need a jar open or you need a bug killed or you need a tire changed or you need the lawn mowed or you need repairs done around the house that's that's weird you need a man to have a kid so I would say that we are fairly important to the well-being of the planet even being a white male I'm fairly important uh, I am proud to be white I am proud to be who I am uh, there was a time uh, when I was probably the most least racist person on the planet but I gotta say as time goes by as I get older I start seeing people more for what they are and uh, and you can call it just getting smarter opening your eyes uh, becoming more aware or you can call it racist you can call it bigotry I don't care because I see people more for what they are now I don't know guys you know what do you do if you have any comments please comment um, I'm all for good civil conversation I don't need a bunch of cussing and name calling and acting like idiots we need conversation um, that's what gets things taken care of or at least has more the opportunity <clears throat> I just don't get it well guys I know this, this is kind of a controversial video I don't care uh, I've said it before I'll say it again my YouTube channel number one is my channel number two it's really there for my family to look back on uh, when I die or even now whichever and get a glimpse uh, uh, as to who I am or, or who I was and I want people to know to know the real Mike I'm not just Mikey son I'm Michael so and I have thoughts I have opinions I have feelings and uh, I like to get those across sometimes myself well guys again like share comment uh, subscribe let's get this channel pumped up there a little bit um, I don't mean for this to be a downer of a video there's no reason for it to be it's just a, a problem that I see in our country and then things need to change uh, so guys have a good day and please get up get out your red and do it to it even when you're just speaking your mind on a controversial issue and do it with love and respect
We'll see you guys later.